Hi all, how you doing? Um, so we're talking about um, foam rollering, um, not specifically on the muscles, more to open up the thoracic joint. Um, also for expansion of the chest, um, what we see a lot of uh, when patients come in and they're very kyphotic, their neck is forward, their neck is forward, the shoulders tend to round with it as well, and you get that curve on the thoracics. Um, that can create a problem that can create all sorts of niggles and pains um, and structural problems. So what we're going to try and do is effectively open up the chest, the muscle, muscles on the chest um, and the ribs and the sternum. Um, also, it's going to help open up the joints on the thoracics, creating that natural curve. Um, so it, it's more than just rolling muscles. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is is literally, it's very, very, very simple. Um, it's just opening up the joints, allowing those joints to move freely. Um, as you know, if joints are compressed or stuck, they can potentially cause problems with the nerve. That's when you start feeling the pain. Um, it also allow you to be more mobile, more free. Um, you will be able to move a lot better. So I would say if you can do this two to three times a day, if you get the chance, I mean, we're in a, an interesting place at the moment where we've all got a lot of time, so we can do it. I don't have my foam roller with me, um, that's at the clinic, but what I do have is a bench. So all I'm going to do on the end of the bench, that would be the bottom of my shoulder blades, okay? I don't want to come up, I definitely don't want to come on the neck, so if you've got a foam roller at home, don't put the, the foam roller on your neck, that's not good. Um, don't put it on the, the very upper part of your back. I mean, this is just my opinion. You want it right on the bottom of the shoulder blade, okay? And as you breathe in, let all the air out, then do the extension. If you do it with air in your lungs, you'll find that it acts as a bit of a, an airbag. So I'll show you how to do it. Really, really simple and really, really effective. And again, the tips I'm coming up with at the moment are home help, things that you can do at home, without a, a, a therapist like myself, okay? So here we go. Get yourself into position. Lock your legs in here, okay? A lot of us do have benches at home. Um, if you don't have a bench, you can use the, the arm of a sofa. Um, just be careful as you're doing it. If, if you need um, assistance, ask a member of your family or friends to help you. So. The edge or the end of the, the bench is right at the bottom of my shoulder blades. Big breath in. And I heard pop. Normally I get pop, pop, pop. Um, I've had a good stretch out today already. So again, what that's doing is open up the thoracic spine. Now this time, I'm going to open up my arms and get a nice pec stretch, okay? So as simple as that, um, big breath in, exhale all of your oxygen out, stretch, and you feel all your muscles on the pec stretch. You might even get a little pop on the, um, the sternum here. Um, I've definitely got some pops on my thoracics. That basically means the joint's opened up, change of pressure in the joint, that's why it pops. And then, who knows? Um, that could start alleviating some of your pain, some of your niggles. So it's just getting that thoracics moving. Enjoy your day, guys. I hope that helped. If it does, give me a thumbs up. Cheers.